What we're going to be doing is trying to explain the motion of the mass on the spring using the size of those individual forces and the resultant force. To help you understand this, you're going to be using the FET masses and springs simulation again, and this time you're going to be using the vectors bit. So you'll need to follow that link again, but I'll explain a little bit more about what you will do. So you will need to open up that link and once you've got it you'll need to click on this vectors and once you open that up then you will need to hang a 250 gram mass onto the end of the spring and then you can press this red button which will stop it. <clears throat> once you've done that you can click over here to mark the equilibrium position and then you can tick these two boxes which will mark on the force of weight and tension. You can then uh, choose to go on to slow, which will make it easier to see what is going on. Once you've done that, you can drag the mass up. So it is just below the point where the spring wouldn't be extended, and then you can release it. And our aim is going to be to describe and explain the motion of the mass on the spring through the cycle, considering the individual forces, which are shown here, with the tension in blue and the weight in red. You can also show the resultant force, which here is called the net force, at each stage by clicking on this, but I think it's rather more instructive to do um, the two individual forces.